Hi everybody, welcome back to Rebel Scum channel. Today we're gonna do a brief um, tutorial on how to use the Saber 4 Acolyte with uh, the Saber Core uh, sound card. So let's go through all the different options we have in the uh, sound card. Um, so let's take out the kill key first and start up this baby. So as you can hear, this is the uh, uh, Saber Force Viridian soundboard, uh, including its sound font. So to access the Acolytes or any um, Saber Force uh, menu on the sound card, we have to hold the LED button or the power button till it makes a boot sound that is different than normally. It will not ignite the lightsaber itself but it will boot directly into its option menu so let's go ahead main menu select optical frequency so one you, so you just hold the button for more than one second just keep it pressing till you get into this menu um, the first option you get you get an option to choose the uh, optical frequency what that means is actually the flickering of the LED um, how intense it will flicker. The first option of course doesn't flicker at all. Two. See, it starts to flicker quite obviously but on a slower pulse as the second option. Three. A lot faster at the third option. Four. Four is a lot higher tense uh, flickering. Five. And 5 is the last option and it has the highest uh, frequency of flickering, you hardly can see the uh, pulse between on and off anymore. It's, uh, it is, it is, it's noticeable, you can definitely see there's something going on, but it's, um, it is um, not as um, uh, noticeable as with option 1. Uh, option T, uh, I'm sorry about that. So later I will show you again, but then at night time with a saber inside of the um, uh, hilt so you can see the actual flickering options. Let me just show you now. Okay moving along so we want to select the next option in the menu we hold the button again till it hits the next option in the uh, menu so you have to go through a sequence of options there is no way you can choose different options in different uh, sequence so every time you go into this menu you have to go through all the same phases save the same settings um, it will reset the settings every time. So if you go to the if you want to make a change to the flickering, for example, the optical sequence um, frequency, you hold the power button one uh, few seconds till you get into this this menu, and then have to set every setting again. So it's not setting one single setting. For example, the frequency of the light or the flash uh, uh, or the uh, sensitivity of the movement. No, you have to reset everything every time you get into this menu. It's a little bit annoying to be honest. It doesn't remember your previous settings. But okay, that's the way it is. There are not too many options anyway. So let's move along to the second option. I hold the power button again. Select sound intensity. So, sound intensity. So I have either low or high as the option. This is low. High. This is high. Muted. This is muted. Low. This is low. High. This is high. Muted. So I said it on mute it now because I, I don't want to hear any sound. So I hold the power button again. Select impact sensitivity one. Impact sen sensitivity. Um, impact sensitivity is just as it says when you hit something, h how responsive will it be on registering that hit? So if you hit something with your saber, uh, it should have that 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 class sound coming up and you can choose the sensitivity of that now when you do a spinning for example sometimes you're not even hitting anything but it's still being registered as a class so depending depending on what you want to do with the saber you want to set the sensitivity high or low um, let's go through the options we have so this was option one two two three three four five six 
So we have nine options to set the sensitivity. I will uh, show you the difference between one and uh, nine now. So I set it first to one. I show you the sensitivity, and then after we redo it, and then I show you the sensitivity on nine. What's the difference? One. Select motion sensitivity one. All settings saved. So we start off with the uh, setting one. So motion sensitive sensitivity set to one. So I set the impact sensitivity on 9 now. Select motion sensitivity 1. All settings saved. As you can see, uh, there's a big difference between uh, the sensitivity 1 and 9. On number 1 it's much more sensitive and you have to do a lot smaller motion to get that uh, clashing sound. Where on option 1 it almost did not bolt, so that's a good thing. So this is option 1 for motion sensitivity. Motion sensitivity is just how the way you move the uh, lightsaber and making that humming sound or that... Uh, that spinning sound. So I'm moving the hilt really slowly to see if it catches up the movement of the hilt being uh, different from being just a, a, a normal stationary situation. So as you hear, there's nothing going on. It does not detect any movement, so the lightsaber doesn't make any sound. Now let's try a number uh, 9, see if that makes any difference. Highest setting uh, set now, so we're gonna save it and see if it makes any difference. All settings saved. It does make a lot of difference. But I feel like the sound font is looping too frequently in the exact same sound font. So it sounds a little bit weird, like it's doing a double uh, sound um, with a minor movement. Which, like it, it, like it tries to mimic a rotation of the hilt, of the lightsaber, if you do a fast spin, like this. But actually you just move it slightly. Uh, it doesn't do it now, but... Yeah, sometimes it loops and you hear like vroom 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 a few times while I'm not actually doing a spin or something. Now the, the, the clash has been set to 1, so the clash is very low. You see, it hardly responds to clashes. But this is just to show the motion uh, sensitivity. I would say at at certain points it definitely is sensitive, but at certain points it's still unresponsive. So it still gives you a little bit of a shaky uh, performance, I think, at times. Like if I move it slowly, it doesn't detect any of this motion. 
If I do it a little bit fast, it starts to detect it. But then it starts to loop the sound font. Which makes it a little bit, it sounds a little bit weird. And even so, as you saw just ago, I just stopped suddenly and it still kept doing the sound fonts. Like the sound card was still processing the movements I made and it was a little bit slow in processing it. Um. So those are the, the, the different options you have in the uh, Sabercore um, Viridian soundboard. Um, I hope it's useful for you to see how to access the menu and how to set the different settings and what the output are from those settings. Okay, after I showed you the menu, I also want to show you the um, uh, Sabercore Viridian um, second or uh, second option, sound option, I don't know how to call that, but when you push the uh, power button once it will have the uh, uh, blaster lock or blaster bolt uh, font. It's not actually locking the blasters, it's just a blaster sound. So we're gonna set the sound font to uh, sound font, the sound option. Sound <laughs> I'm gonna set the sound option to uh, mute it, uh, which is an awesome setting on these lightsabers. Um, other, um, other sound card brands do that as well, but I think this is a very good functionality. Whenever you don't want to hear the sound, just play it night time. You just turn it off and that's it. Here we go. Hi. So, hold the power button in. I don't care about this. I don't care about this. All settings saved. Thank you. And that's it. It's muted. <sighs> so um, it's in a muted state now. So if you turn off the saber, turn on the saber again, it's still muted. So you don't have to swip, uh, do that every time you want to set it to muted. It. It's just the saved option now so it's muted all the way around every setting you have set now it will just keep it as, as it is so I turn it off again still the same settings I put the kill key back so let's uh, well, power it off there's no more power on the lightsaber nothing we can do let's wait a few seconds 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1 ok turn the saber on again and we still mute it only way to get it unmuted again, hold the power button for a few seconds, get into that main menu, set the sound again, and that's it, and you're back in business. So very easy, very useful, very lovely. Your wife, your husband, your boyfriend, girlfriend, your, your sleeping child, your sleeping dog will appreciate that you have a mute button, and you too, because you can still be your Jedi or sit at night time, playing in your room, uh, well, the rest of the family sleeps, and I don't do that at all. Um, as a verdict on the um, sound card from Saber Forge, just to to uh, to wrap it up here, uh, this tutorial is it's okay. I think it's an okay soundboard. Uh, but it still lacks a little bit of the sensitivity in terms of the uh, motion sensitivity and the sound font is is looped uh, like every sound font but the way this sound font was created the loop sounds a little bit ugly I think in my opinion it doesn't sound very pretty um, I would say for a hundred plus US dollar sound card as Sabre Force charge you for this, I, I think it's a little bit underwhelming uh, given the fact that you cannot change the sound font so 
the sound font you get is the sound font you're stuck to. So if you s either choose a crimson or a light side sound font, that's it. That There's no more change there. You cannot add sound fonts. You cannot take a sound font off and add another one. There's only one sound font and that's it. I think uh, that makes this card quite limited uh, from that sense. If I, for example, compare it to a, a Nano Biscotti uh, sound card, uh, which is, I believe, half the price of the Sabre Force sound card and has a lot more options, including Flash on Clash. It has the um, uh, two sound fonts uh, at the same time option, so you can switch between sound fonts. Uh, you can upload any sound font you want, of course, and then just change it out. But you always have two, but still better than than what you have at uh, this uh, sound card from Saberforge. I think it's not half bad, but I I, I would say I I, I think Saberforge is start to uh, falling behind with their sound card, and it's not only Saberforge. I I think Saber uh, Ultra Sabers have the same issue. Um, However, the Ultra Sabers come with a light version of their sound card for a, uh, for a sharper price. Um, but just comparing them to uh, the Nano Biscotti or Crystal uh, Soundboard for that matter, it's, 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 it, I cannot say justify the price. Saber Force cannot justify the price of their soundboard, in my opinion. Um, it's not bad, but it's definitely not the best either. Um, but then again, if you just have one saber and it happens to be a saber forge, I mean, if it's that case and and it, and I'm in that position, I would be still very happy with what I have. Don't get me wrong, but I know there's better for better price. <laughs> so I uh, I hope this uh, tutorial is uh, useful for you um, to navigate through the menu for the crimson soundboard is exactly the same. Or soundboard, a uh, sound font, I have to say. So from that perspective, uh, you you can find all the same options and and enjoy the lightsaber uh, how you want. So thank you for watching, and hopefully see you in the next video.